Jess and I were talking before the show started about this sequence in the documentary when you're married to Andre Agassi, who it started out like you guys would fax each other, which is like so delicate and sweet. <laughs> to mm-hmm. then, though, you're acting on Friends. He's on set. He sees you with Joey Tribbiani, not even a real person, <laughs> goes home and is so angry, smashes his own trophies, which is such like unhinged behavior to destroy something of his own when he's so angry right. at you, which is like, I think says a lot about how that and, and relationship was going to end. Un- unpacking that, it really had just begun too. And and you know, the, the irony of it too is that the extreme sort of behaviors were not dissimilar to what it was like living with an alcoholic, you know, and mm-hmm. loving an alcoholic, you know, that sort of night and day, that, that, you know, Jekyll and Hyde, all that kind of stuff. So it wasn't, it wasn't really scary. Um, I mean, I spent the next couple of years trying to get those trophies all replicated. Um, and, and, you know, the thought process was one day I want our kids to see their father's, you know, achievements. Like I was, I, I immediately went into that fixer mode and, you know, take it off, take it off of him, make it okay for him. Clearly, you know, he wasn't familiar with the acting world and, and he got threatened or whatever the justification I tried to have, but it was so self-inflicted. That's what I found really interesting. Yeah. You know, this punishment, self-punishment for what loving somebody. Cause you, you let yourself feel. And that's what happens when you give your heart away, you get hurt. Like there's something in there with that. I don't know if that's true. Um, but we, we, we don't talk about it. <laughs> we don't talk at all. <laughs> 